But Dean Ambrose has teased the fact that he's got like a chainsaw. And what's he going to do with it? Barbed wire. And? Baseball bat. Thing. And? You need a magnifying glass. No, I, I can't read it. Uh, well, it's because it's in Arabic. You, you give an Arabic business card to a Jew from New York? Sorry. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, I didn't... Re if you could you, you create time... But I can't create time! Away from Brock Lesnar. I can't do it. I don't deal on ifs. I deal on significant information based on, subs based on substantive answers. If, if, if. If your aunt had balls, she'd be your uncle. She doesn't, so she's not. She's still your aunt. So I don't deal in ifs. I deal in absolutes. An absolute is that Brock Lesnar will absolutely demolish and beat and victimize and conquer Dean Ambrose this Sunday at WrestleMania. And these are the type of questions that I can give you substantive information based on the significance of your questions for. Not these hypotheses that you speak you forth while you pontificate these ridiculous questions to me. Um, out of Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch, who's going to win? Well, since none of them have paid me to be their advocate, why would I sit here and endorse anybody that doesn't want to give me a percentage of their earnings to talk them up on television the same way I do for Brock Lesnar? I'm supposed to advocate for free? If one of these pretty little pearly white teeth that you have have a cavity, do you go to your dentist and say, may I please have oral surgery for free with my Arabic business card? And he'll say, no, I will not do it for free. I perform dental surgery for a fee for which I am a dentist. I am an advocate. And you want me to come here and now to advocate for somebody that doesn't give me a percentage of their earnings because they don't want to pay for my advocacy. Right, I got you. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you all right? You're pissing me off! I concur with your opinion. With Brock having no issue, what if this happened instead? Yeah, what if? Switched around. If. If. If your aunt had balls, she'd be your uncle. She doesn't, so she's not. She's your aunt. I don't deal on ifs. I deal on absolutes. Please ask me significant questions based on substantive information, not ifs, not hypotheses, not hypothetical situations. Ask me substantive questions. So I can give you substantive. Am I allowed to ask any more questions? Sure, go right ahead. That's a question in and of itself, isn't it? So when you say, am I allowed to ask a question, if I were to say no, then I would be disallowing you the question that you just asked me about asking me more questions. So when I, by saying, am I allowed to ask you questions, you're going on, on the premise that I'm already allowing you to ask another question, because that in and of itself is a question to begin with. Now, Brock Lesnar has been incredible his whole career. He has just been a phenomenon in a way. I disagree with that. You know, listen, you really got to start asking smarter questions. He's been very credible his entire career. Okay. He was credible when he won the NCAA Division I Heavyweight Championship. He was credible when he won the UFC Heavyweight Championship. He was credible when he won the WWE Heavyweight Championship. He's credible. It's not incredible. Incredible does not mean great. It doesn't mean fabulous. It doesn't mean good. Incredible means not credible. Non-credible. A lack of credibility. And I think Brock Lesnar brings more credibility to WWE than any other athlete in the history of anybody that's ever entered the WWE Ring. So please get these questions straight. I'm waiting for you to tell me I have no credibility. But that's already, yeah, everybody knows that already. You look at WrestleMania last year, Brock was headlining. He was the main event. This year, he's kind of fallen down the card a little bit. What's happening there? What is happening? That's that's a real question. You want a credible question? Answers? Come on, give me one. A lack of balls for people to step into the ring with Brock Lesnar? Really? <laughs> That's your hold, answer. Hold, hold on a second. You ask me a question. I give you an answer, and then your retort is, "Really?" That's what As if I'm going to sit here and say, "Nah, I'm just kidding." Really? Now hold on. Now, now ask me seriously. Seriously? Yeah, I'd say it. Seriously? seriously. I'll say it. Seriously. Why isn't he at the main event right now? Oh, here it is. Ready? I, me, tell no, me no, if you've heard this before. You don't have to repeat because this. Because people don't have the balls to step in the ring with Brock Lesnar. But what if they do and he... Oh, well then we, we, we just massacre them like he does everybody else. Same way he massacred The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. Same way he gave the beating to Roman Reigns last year at but WrestleMania 30. No, he didn't lose. Really? Brock Lesnar got pinned last year? Really? Do you have this footage of Brock Lesnar being pinned he last year? He lost a physical thing called the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It's no longer around his waist, is it? No, it's not because of some ridiculous rule of cashing in money in the bank. Brock Lesnar is a champion who never lost the title.
So did he lose the match? Was he pinned? Was he counted out? Was he disqualified? Did the referee stop in on his protection? Did he tap out? <laughs> Tell me how Brock Lesnar lost. No, Roman Reigns lost last year to That's Seth Rollins. Brock Lesnar did not lose. Please, get your facts straight. So far, you're not asking me substantive information. You're not asking me significant questions. Your premises are all wrong. You're using words like, like incredible incorrectly, so your grammar is way off. And now you're telling me factually incorrect information with revisionist history that Brock Lesnar lost at last year's WrestleMania, when the fact is he didn't lose at last year's WrestleMania. So I'm here with Paul Heyman, created WCW. No, I didn't. I know, I'm just messing How with you. How stupid are you? I'm just Do you messing. have anybody with intelligence? This is who you hook me up with? Stupid people? If I wanted stupid people, I'd go for his girlfriend. Let me go talk to her now. Welcome to the Miller Report. Okay, my, my first question for you is this. I watch you on TV every week, and you keep using the word advocate. I don't, what, is, what is an advocate? Well, first of all, it's not, it's not how you introduce me. First, oh, I'm you, sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. I, I've agreed to be subjected to this Miller report because actually my attorneys wanted me in a deposition this morning at around 8.15, and I figured what could be more painful than a deposition than interrogatories on, on the Miller report? So I decided as a glutton for self-punishment to subject myself to this show. Why? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I, I'm, 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 you're, you're, you're you're interrupting while I'm talking. We're not even one question in, and he's interrupting me already. Well, I don't, well, why, I, well, well, look at this already. I don't even know why you put me here. You cannot answer this if you don't want to, but... Well, if you ask me a question, yeah. it's, 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 it's my obligation to give you an honest answer. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, it. I subjected myself to these interrogatories. You did. Yes, ask you away. Did. Okay. How much does Brock Lesnar eat? That's none of your damn business. Oh. Uh, I now, concur with your assessment, sir. Do you, do you know any information that you're willing to share? with me on the show? Do I know any information? Yes, that I'm willing to share. No. Um, plus, you're asking on the premise of, of, of an if. Mm. Rumors. I don't deal in rumors. I, I deal in facts. I don't deal in ifs. I deal in absolutes. If your aunt had balls, she would be your uncle. She doesn't, so she's your aunt. But in the meantime, the, the, the the questions that you ask me should be based on absolutes, on factual information for which I can then add substantive response. Otherwise, you know, we're just speculating here, and that's not what I do. I don't like the way you say my client's name. Okay. You, you say it as... Too know, flippantly? Brock Lesnar. You know, it, you know on the cover of WWE 2K17, uh, available, You're by the way, nice on Tuesday... I, this I, you don't deserve it. Okay. On Tuesday, October 11th, WWE 2K17, features on the cover, and then you just go, Brock Lesnar. Uh, you're just throwing his name away. Like, it's commonplace. Teach me. Oh, Teach it's me. very simple. First of all, listen to the dynamic of his name. It's It's... Brock, what kind of a name is that? What kind of what kind of person names their son Brock? I mean, it's not like here's my son Timmy. Oh, here's my son George. It's Brock. Yeah. I mean, that's a it's guttural. It's violent. It's aggressive. It's competitive. It's meant to be said with with masculinity involved. Brock. Lesnar, not Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's on the cover of WWE 2K17, available Tuesday, October 11th. No, on Tuesday, October 11th, WWE 2K17 will be available worldwide, featured on the cover of WWE 2K17 on October 11th. On a worldwide basis, it's the beast. The conqueror of the Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. The nightmare of Suplex City, Brock Lesnar. That's how you say the man's name. Can I give it a go? You can, but you may not. So, Brock Lesnar is the... He did it again. The, oh, sorry. That is a great answer. And I, what did I you expect? <laughs> Stupidity? Uh, festive. Paul Heyman in his best three-piece suit. It's not my best three-piece suit. I'm spending some time with us today. <laughs> <sighs> to talk WWE 2K17. He's certainly dressed for the occasion. Who are you most looking forward to seeing Brock Lesnar face off and defeat, inevitably, in WWE 2K17? You. Anyone in real life who, beyond Randy Orton and obviously... Are you not in real life? Uh, are you a fictional character? Are you a cartoon? <laughs> are you sorts. not truly sitting there? Are you a figment of my imagination? Which would pretty much tell you how piss poor my imagination is today. But 
Are you not real life? I am real. I don't think I could hang for as for, with Brock Lesnar for a long as. For but a long no as one can also. hang with Brock Lesnar. Isn't that the point, sir? That is the point, indeed. Thank did you, uh, did they, they did they use Brock a lot in the game last year? And uh, were they in trouble whenever he lost the match in WWE 2K16? What's going in? Hypothetically speaking. I don't deal in hypotheticals. <laughs> I, I, I don't deal in if, if your aunt had balls, she'd be your uncle. She doesn't, so she's not. So I don't deal in ifs. I deal in absolutes. So please, address to me factual questions that require substantive information that I could bestow upon you to educate you or your audience. Don't, don't ask me hypothetical ifs. Come on, it's beneath you, even though you dress like this to an interview. It's Charlotte and Becky Lynch that we are close to seeing. <coughs> Pay-per-view, <coughs> main event <coughs> is <coughs> by the women. <coughs> the women's <coughs> I'm having an allergic reaction to stupidity. Who are the three guys or girls down in Orlando who you feel off? I, 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 I think that's a stupid question, I'll tell you. Fair enough. Because you're limiting the NXT experience to only three talents. And the entire premise of NXT is for any of these talents at any time to be plucked and picked and put on the main roster. Please tell me an NXT superstar not worthy of the main roster. That is it. Not one intelligent question. <laughs> not one. Not one. Not one. Not one. You let him in this room and he asked me nothing but stupid questions. Bailey, 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 Bailey. Thank you so much for your time. I promise you. I promise you. You're done when this interview's over. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Are we done now? We are done. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, this is the bit where I do the interview. Oh, is that okay? Where's your camera? Uh, uh, this. A phone? This, this, this camera. A smartphone? Uh, yeah. An iPhone? What's a 6S? An iPhone camera? Yeah, but it's a 6S port. What are we, children? Uh, um, it's, it's a good camera, 4K. Are you serious? I mean, it's not a good... It's... Who let him in? Hold on, who let him in? Seriously, uh, who? Which one are you? A room full of publicists and no one wants to take accountability for a schmuck that's going to sit there and interview me on an iPhone like I'm a five-year-old. No, please, go ahead. Hi, Mr. Heyman. How are you today? I'm the schmuck that came in with an iPhone. Do you truly believe that will happen? No, I'm lying to you right now. I think my guy's terrible and he's just going to lose. Oh, what kind of schmuck question is that? Seriously, do I really believe that? What, I'm advocating a position that I don't feel passionately about? You 100? And I'll match you 100. Your move. Checkmate city, bitch. <laughs> I know, I'll beat Brock Lesnar ass. Like, you will, huh? Yeah. Oh, go ahead and go try. Let's take that picture. No, oh, go ahead, go go try. Start with my ass. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. What's, what's this hoodie? Yeah, what are you, a gangster? Don't be a man. Punk Brock Lesnar is like, who are you calling me? Are we, are we, you? Ew. <laughs> I like you. Okay, thank you. I don't you. like you. No, I'm gonna take a picture. Like no. Yo, don't look at me like that, my man. Or else. Straighten that hat out. ECW. Straighten that, whoa, whoa, straighten out the hat. That looks stupid. I put it back the way it was. <laughs> All right. Let me get it. Wait, no, no. I want me and him to be alone. Me and him alone. Oh, oh, oh alone. only good-looking people. Mr. Heyman. How uh, is this? Let's see. Oh, oh, that looks. Wait, it's because you're not looking at me. Oh my God. Why are you still looking at me like that? Do you see this? You want to see this, Mr. Heyman? Please. I'm on the Heyman's face right now. Ask me a direct question, and I and it's a yes or no question, and I give you a yes or no answer. In this case, the answer is no. Why do you ask me the same question, although under a different premise? So this is be, this is the equivalent of saying, "Hey, how are you today? Good. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Uh huh. Seriously? Yeah. So you're okay? Yes." Good? Uh-huh. Wow. Really? Yes. You asked me a question, I gave you an answer, and now you want me to clarify that that's the answer that I mean 
because I didn't have to embellish on the answer, and obviously I, maybe I didn't give you an answer that you thought was going to come out of my mouth. What am I supposed to do? Boo hoo hoo! The Undertaker is no longer undefeated at WrestleMania. What? Why? You know, sir. You. The, the premise of your question is that I'm the heartless one. I'm the one in this conversation that lacks compassion. And your shock over my lack of compassion for The Undertaker was shining through with the fact that you followed up your interrogatory with a really, are you sure, or I can't believe that you said that. But let me ask you a question, sir, about your lack of compassion. How do you feel about the 21 other victims in that streak? Don't you feel for the men that went up against The Undertaker and didn't conquer the streak? Don't you feel for the 21 yeah. that, that are, the, that come, you know, a lot of people had to get hurt. A lot of people got beat up. A lot of people yeah, right. lost at WrestleMania for that number to become 21. Sure. Where's your compassion for those 21 in the 21 and 1? And why must you pick on me? the one behind the one in 21 and one the, we, we have the smaller number but the smaller number is greater than the bigger number because it's the it's the bigger victory but here you are with a lack of any feeling any emotion any compassion any sympathy any empathy for the 21 that compensated that that, 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 that composed the 21 and 21 and one and yet you want to burn my ass over the fact that my guy <laughs> is the one it's hysterical to me, this entire uh, premise that I'm the one that lacks <laughs> compassion when you're the one sitting there, a heartless son of a bitch, about the 21 that lost. Uh, last question. For crying out loud, man! <laughs> do, do you do you go to church and beg forgiveness for this? I mean, do you seriously when you on the day that you arrive at the pearly gates, will you not sit there and say, "I have lacked compassion for those who were victimized," and then I went to the one guy that victimized the victimizer, and I try to bust his ass on it? Son of a bitch!